Hey, Palash. In order to understand the project, I have to understand no more than this. I was in Danelle Surratt's office. She's an analyst at Cuddy Financial. I had showed her a drawing Dan Cuddy made describing his vision in a few circles on the page where words were in each and they described the whole organization from IT to the role of Microsoft Teams and these circles come together in his diagram to display his vision. Danelle drew her interpretation it was Dan in the middle as a stick figure on the page that she made this drawing on. On the bottom left was a trash can with money on fire. And on the bottom right were dead bodies. Danelle's idea of the vision was wasting a ton of money and doing it at expense to the humans involved in making it. This is the ultimate challenge of the Cuddy Financial Project. Never minding the code, it's that no one in his organization believes in him. They're not being anything other than uh, honest in their interpretations. And Danelle's drawing, I tore it up and put it in the trash. And between her and I, we didn't talk about it. There's no reason to. The only thing that we as a service provider can do is convince the team of the vision by building it. That's the ultimate, what we are there to do, was to take those people in the office that laugh at Dan and deride him and call him a child or use names and other sort of expressions of either derision or... Well, derision's good enough. That is our job. Change the opinion of the leader, change the perception of possibility from this is all wasted money and these are these dead bodies and take what was drawn by Dan in those circles and make it real and it changes the opinions of people. Danelle began to believe in me. It was necessary that that team believe in me. There's no way for me to do the job except to have the whole team believe in me. And it all fell apart when Dan became a liar. It's one thing to feel inspired by a man. It's only possible to do that when you like him. Well, your contributions, they hit the mark technically. And I'm glad to discuss those questions that you ask now.